Hello, Downy Ducks. It's Miss G coming to you for your art lessons for June 1st through June 5th. Just as a reminder, you can always share your artwork with me by either emailing me or sending it to me on Instagram. You can also send your artwork to your homeroom teacher and they can forward it to me. My office hours are Monday and Wednesday from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. And at those times you can email me and I will respond right away. Otherwise, you can always email me or contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We will be doing Zoom art next week for the last week. Um, you'll need to check your email next weekend. I should be sending it out on Sunday the 7th for you to be able to see um, the link for this. The link will also be posted in the next week's YouTube video as well as on Clever and on Teams. So you should be able to find the link. Make sure you have it before you um, need it. Kindergarten will be Monday at 11 a.m. Grade one will be Tuesday at noon. Grade two will be Wednesday at 11. Grade three, Thursday at noon. Grade four, Thursday at 1 p.m. And grade five, Friday at 1 p.m. All of them have a password of art with no capital letters if it does tell you that you need the password. If you are going and just clicking on the link, it should just bring you to the Zoom and you should need the password. But if you do have to put in the password, the password is ART with no capital letters. Each se session is 30 minutes long and it will be recorded. Here are your art lessons for this week. You guys have some choices this week. Um, this is for kindergarten and grade one, if you would like. Um, so this is a color scavenger hunt. Take a walk around your house or even outside. Bring along something to draw with and try to find something that is red, orange, yellow, and all the other colors. You can fold your paper or draw six boxes and fill each box with a picture of the colorful image that you find. First and second grade, kindergarten could probably do this too. Um, this is creating a drawing of famous artist Piet Mondrian. He was known for using black lines and primary colors. The primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. He used those colors to make his art. So we can make our own Mondrian drawing. So um, you're going to grab a piece of paper and you're going to use the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, and then a black crayon for the lines. So first you're going to draw the lines, then you're gonna draw some different lines to make more shapes. You want to have rectangles and squares. Then lastly, you will color in some of the squares with the red, blue, and yellow. If you Google Piet Mondrian's name, you'll see this famous artwork. Grades two and three, you can work on creating a DIY funny face flip book. Take some sheets of paper and cut them into thirds so that they'll have, you'll have three sections for each piece of paper. On some sheets, draw or collage, meaning cut images from magazines or newspapers, different types of eyes. On the middle papers, create or paste different noses. And on the bottom pages, create some different mouths. What combination of different faces can you make by flipping the pages? Grades three and four. We're gonna be looking at some inspired digital art this week. You're gonna visit the link above and click on Inspire Me when you get there. Choose a category, experiments, food, weather, or natural world, and see what kinds of digital paintings you can create depending on what inspires you. Grade four and five, Mandala found object. Radial symmetry is symmetry around a central axis, as in a starfish or a tulip flower. Looking around your house or even outside, what type of mandala designs can you create using various objects? Tip, it might help to fold a blank piece of paper in half, both the long way and the short way. Mark the center of the paper where the two lines intersect and start your design from that access point. Here are three examples below, one of them using toys, 
the middle one using fruit and flowers, and then the one on the right using all shoes. Grade five, recreating famous portraits. Using clothing and other various materials around your home, can you recreate these artists' famous portraits like the examples below? Snap a picture so that you can compare it to the artists once you have found your materials. So we have two famous ones here. My favorite is the one on the left, Frida Kahlo, one of my favorite artists. And she, like we've talked about, if you remember, she's known for her um, unibrow and how she always wore flowers in her hair. So that is a really good recreation. So is the one on the right, it looks great. Here are some other famous portraits that you could try to recreate at home. And lastly, if you are someone who is in K through five special education, or if you just like an extra project to do this week, then you can work on these DIY paintbrushes. Use items from around the house to create paintbrushes using clothespins. So you just take the item, clothespin it with a clothespin, and then you have a paintbrush. You can try different, um, different ones on papers to see what they look like and what one works the best. I'd love to see your paintbrushes and your finished artwork. Don't forget to send me your artwork this week, boys and girls, and also don't forget to join me next week for Zoom. Remember to look in your email on Sunday, June 7th to see what your link is and what time you should show up for art class. I hope to see you there.